Colorado Supreme Court has ruled that former President Donald Trump is ineligible to hold office again. The court says it's because of Trump's actions with the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Maggie Glass live in the newsroom with a deeper dive on what this means for Virginians. Hi, Maggie. Casey, this is the first time a court has found Trump ineligible to return to the White House, but Colorado is just one of 50 states. The question on many people's minds following this decision, could Trump be taken off the ballot in other states, like here in Virginia? If a case was filed in Virginia, the court would have to grapple with the same basic question. That basic question is, were President Trump's actions enough to trigger Section 3 of the 14th Amendment? which says those who engage in insurrection against the Constitution after taking an oath to support it cannot hold office. Colorado Supreme Court, by a narrow margin, says yes. The claim is that the Constitution forbids insurrectionists from serving in federal and state office and that uh, former President Trump is an insurrectionist and therefore he can't be on the ballot. Now, all eyes turn to the U.S. Supreme Court to see if they will get involved. That's what U.S. Senator Mark Warner says would be best for all states. My hope is that the Supreme Court will, will take this up. UVA Miller Center says it's likely they will. If they don't, they run the risk that the former President Trump's off the ballot in, you know, five or 10 or 15 states, which will, of course, cripple his ability to get the nomination. With the Republican primaries for the 2024 presidential election looming, the clock is ticking to get all this sorted out. They don't want to decide this after the primaries, right? It's sort of too late. U.S. Senator Tim Kaine says if it's found that this amendment does apply to Trump, he is not above the law. The Constitution is not uh, is not optional. It has to be followed. Ultimately, there is a lot to decide before Virginia or any state would see Trump stricken from the ballot for the 2024 presidential election. We're in the middle of a game, not the end of it. This is a challenging time for our democracy. President Trump's campaign has already denounced the ruling and says it will be appealing the decision to the U.S. Supreme Court. Live in the newsroom, Maggie Glass, 29 News at 5.